Good morning, my Good magazines. Good morning. We are back in the shop. It's raining. <laughs> well, <laughs> I like your optimism. Not really, yeah. <laughs> not. <laughs> we're kind of in between a few jobs, and we're going to give the old truck a little TLC. It's a little upgrade I've been wanting to do for a long time. It's probably not what people think. It's not going to help it go faster. It's going to help it stop better. <laughs> All right, here's the rundown. You ready? I'm ready. So back before, you guys remember some, you don't, probably don't remember because you weren't here. But the puppy dog blew a head gasket. Oh yeah, I missed out on all that. Yeah, you missed out on all that fun. Yeah. So. I was keeping the lights on for you so you could work on well, them. I appreciate you keeping the shop air conditioned for today. So. <laughs> all right, so whenever the truck blew a head gasket, we've had a few things we've been wanting to do to it for a while. The number four injector in this truck has, uh, I guess been weak. I don't know if you guys noticed in some of the videos at idle, it's got a little bit of a miss. Every once in a while, I'll throw a malfunction light up. And uh, it's not really a huge deal, but it's just kind of a little bit of a, I just noticed it, it bothers me. Yeah. So our friends at Mancurt, these guys at Area Diesel Service, they absolutely hooked us up. Um, I've only used them twice on two different things. We put injectors in the Volvo and then they're obviously helping us out with injectors in the truck. But these guys, they support so many YouTubers. Diesel Creek, Hamiltonville Farms, Clint CNC Equipment, Watch West Work, ourselves. Yeah. I'm gonna link their channel down in the description. At the very minimum, if you guys can just go over there and give them a subscribe, it won't cost you anything. Those boys would appreciate it because they do some awesome, awesome mm -hmm. stuff. Tractor time with Tim. Yeah. Put a turbo on his tractor. Yep. The list goes on and on and on, so. Uh, I can't thank Kurt, his whole crew up there, man. They are so knowledgeable. Every time I talk to him, I'm impressed. And uh, they were nice enough to uh, give us some injectors. I think we're going to send our injectors back to them so they can test and then, uh, do an analysis on them. So if you want to find out what's wrong with them for sure, you need to watch their channel to find out. I think number four has got a busted spring in it, but that's just my, my guess. You, yeah. I'm not the expert. Those guys are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's the second part. This is going to be pretty easy. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Injectors in, injectors out. This is going to be a little bit more of a project. Mm. So, these E7 E Tech, the E Tech engines, uh, they, were, they had jack brake problems from the get go. And it's an oil supply issue. They can't keep enough oil in the jack housing to actuate the brake. And I'll show you guys when we get into it, how they get oil. There's an internal port that comes through the rocker. A lot of different issues of why they can't keep oil into them. So the final fix in the later years of this engine's development is they actually put an external oil line kit on it. So basically this Jake Brick housing can get oil fed to it from two different ways. And that's what we're going to install. So... Again, in the videos, I don't know if you guys pay attention, once the truck is at temperature and the engine RPM gets down below 1300 RPMs, the jakes just get really erratic. They start cutting in and out. Sometimes they don't even work at all. This should fix that. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. Are you for sure, like, it's Friday for us. Yeah. I don't know when they'll see this. Is this a job that we need to be doing on a Friday? You ever watch them commercials? <laughs> doing a job on a Friday and they forget to put parts in. <laughs> well, uh, uh, I'll tell you Monday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, this should be somewhat straightforward. Okay. okay. I think the first, I'm, hey, step one. I know what step one is. Open the hood. Open the hood. Let's uh, start with it. I'll do that. Let me, let me you got that? That's within your qualifications? If I can reach it. Oh, you got that. Look at that. Yeah. The bulldog is a perfect tide. And you should be so proud of it because I actually remembered to turn the tires before I shut the truck off. So see, now I can oh, walk right in. right in there. Yeah. All right. First things first, we need to take the air cleaner off. That's not very exciting. We'll do it the easy way. All right. Step one, complete. Air cleaner removed. All the work we're gonna do is gonna be underneath these uh, valve covers. I got my tool assistant down here. Sure do. How about an impact, an extension, and a 13? Got you set up right here. <laughs> <Yeah. Ready to> 
<laughs> oh, you got me all set up, huh? Yeah, the tricky part is, is holding the camera and not losing my nuts. <laughs> okay. Gotta keep track of those. These important? What's that? These important? Yes, these are important. Okay. Maybe we need to find somebody else to get with you. <laughs> they, they, they hold crucial stuff on the engine. But I will, I will say I'm more responsible than you, so... Well, more responsible than me in some ways, I'm not going to go with always. <laughs> <laughs> You're pushing your luck there. I do like your fancy new gloves you got, though. I like them. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm not tall enough to see the other side of the motor. Ow! There, I think it's an OSHA standard before you start surgery, you're supposed to have gloves on. OSHA standard? Yeah. Are those OSHA approved surgery gloves? Yes, they are for a shot, yes. <laughs> this poor Mac knew he was working on it. I don't know how I'd feel about that. <laughs> I know it. Come out? Nope, it's, it's way up in there. It's. Well, come on. I hate to say it. You know them boys that uh, tore that motor down, that 350, and like... Oh, talking about the... the uh, uh, and took kids to the monster trucks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know what, though? Their motor only ran for about six seconds. <laughs> <laughs> we need ours to run for about 600,000 miles. At eight seconds, it was going to blow, huh? <laughs> yeah, I, it was rumping done. I mean, I'll give them credit on the speed. Mm -hmm. oh, I didn't see quality control behind them, though. Remember that one boy was laying underneath it, taking down all the rust? Oh, huh? man, I felt so sorry for him. I mean, he was, uh, he was covered in oil. Yeah. All right, you ready? Ready. Well, I've covered number one. Okay. Well, camera number two. Okay. There's the bolt I forgot. Mm, that ain't good. And this is Jake extension number one, which will not get reused. Is there no gaskets on that? Yep. Okay. You get new gaskets? Nope, because these are new gaskets. This will get reused, this does not. Okay. They're new gaskets, but they're already, they're on the trucks so that are not new. They're new used gaskets. Well, they're slightly used. They were new about six weeks, six months ago, whenever we did the heck yet. All right. Check extension number two not going to be used anymore. No, but the gasket in it will be. All right. All right, so this upper piece right here, this is our Jake brake housing front and back. There's two up on here. We got to take these off and do a little bit of machine work on them to get our new oil ports drilled to them. So I want to get them back where we had them. So I'm just going to mark these front and back. Front and rear. I'm going to go front and back, F and B. Got go. It. All right, let's bust these loose. far ahead and we don't sew a six inch extension in there what did you do with the six inch extension before we put uh i got it right up here okay just making sure right here yeah i need that back all right so as jake housing aaron i'm gonna hand it to you 
and I've got some paper towels laid out on the bench over there. Mm -hmm. Let's set it on the bench. Okay. Um, so we can figure out how we're gonna rework it. Oh, that is way heavier than I anticipated. Hold on. There's a little bit of check valve at the bottom of this thing. We gotta make sure we don't lose. Actually, it's stuck in the rocker, so I think we're all right. All right. You may feel like the parts washer will play with that first. Alright, what's the verdict? Are we going to do uh, injectors first or jake brake first? Injectors. Good call, because they're under the jake brake. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we're doing injectors first. And one thing, you know, I've noticed, I guess you put your phone on silent because I ain't heard it go off. I ain't had to hear it. Yeah, this is Mike. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, this is Mike. I, I ain't heard that yet today, so. Why did you jinx this? What, you turn your ringer back on now? Well, I think it is actually on silent. <laughs> I like it's it. It's hard to record whenever it's not on silent because it never shuts up. Okay, now back to the truck. Back to the truck. All right, so this nut right here is our injector hold down. So that actually holds the injector that goes down the head. This is the fuel line that goes over and feeds the injector. There's actually a steel tube that goes through there and hits in the side of it. I'll uh, kind of show you guys here in a minute. We got to take these loose first thing and then uh, we'll pull that injector hold down out and uh, we'll pull them up out of there. All right, got our fuel lines loose, got our injector hold down loose. They got a little hole there on top of them, it's threaded. You can do this with a slide hammer, or I just kind of screw a bolt in there. You get a pry bar on them, usually they pop up fairly easy. I'm gonna have to use both hands and pull that fuel line out. Let's see if we can get her up out of there. There she comes, number one. Number two. You may have to pop out one on the other side while I hold this fuel line back on this side. Got it. This is number four. I think this one's our problem child right here. Man, behind the scenes i think we are ready to go back we got our six new injectors we left one of the old injectors out just as a comparison i believe uh we're good to go all right got all of our o-rings on we got our chamber gasket on we just need some youtube magic to get them down in the holes so. yeah yeah all right uh I guess the same old thing one at a time. If you guys are wondering, that machined hole right there is where that fuel line comes in and presses. And then that is your return fuel coming off the injector and it goes back through this groove in the head down through there. That's how that works. And these two O-rings keep any fuel from coming out or going into the oil from the high pressure. 
just what you always want to know, isn't it? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I guess it's time to stop stalling and actually install. First thing we gotta do is make sure our holes are clean because you don't want to put something in a dirty hole. No, no. Works like a human. In one end, out the other. Yeah. <laughs> it just don't do as much processing in between. Yeah. All right, I don't know how well you guys can see down in there. I'll do my best. But this little thing right here, I gotta hold that fuel line back out of the way while Aaron drops that injector down in there. You got a little bit of got the engine oil on the O-rings. You got just a little bit of grease holding the tip on down there. And then it's got an alignment uh, pin. So this little alignment pin is what keeps that fuel hole lined up. You guys can't see the notch because the fuel line's in the way. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the fuel line back. Come on light, cooperate. I'm gonna hold the fuel line back while Aaron drops that down in there. You ready? Yep. Two all the way down. Ah. Uh, nope. Give her a little tappy tappy. Okay. Don't take much. Ready? Yep. There she goes. There it is, nice and solid. If you hit the injector, it help. Yeah, yeah, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll give you that back. And then before we put the fuel line in, we can get it started, but before we tighten it down, we want to uh, torque that injector down with a cap. So it's a pretty simple little process, right? Yeah. All right, let's rinse, wash, repeat. Well, there you have it. Injectors are done. Injectors are done. Fire it up. Let's see if she runs. All right. Tell me when. <laughs> you stand right here and get you a good old oil bath. <laughs> now, yesterday, yesterday when you know we were talking about doing this, you said injectors. That was it. That's all we're doing. Injectors. She didn't say anything about anything else. I think you're kind of like my wife. That's when you quit listening. You no, know. <laughs> no, no. You leave that fine detail out. <laughs> well, that's that, like that fine print at the bottom of the contract. That's yeah. like uh, it's like fishing. You know, you see the lure and you're enticed, <laughs> and then I really you in for the rest. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So now the fun begins. To be honest, that was the easy part. I say we get those Jake Break housings cleaned up. Let's lay them up on the bench, and uh, we'll start getting to plan. We gotta become machinists.
machinist. That's our strong suit, machinist. Yeah. This should yeah. go good. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right, man, behind the scenes, you ready for engine brake lesson 101 theory of operation? I'm ready for it. <laughs> if I get you to understand this, I think I can get anybody to understand this. Let's see, let's see how this goes. All right, we got one housing on the table upside down, one housing on the table right side up. That way, hopefully, we can kind of explain a little bit what's going on. So, the way these things work is the engine pumps these things full of oil. There's a whole bunch of galleries and ports in here, and that oil comes up through this hole right here, which is through a supply line in the head, and goes through what is a check valve, which part of the problem missing a few parts that we got fished out of there so this is the old oil supply port that's in the rocker shaft you guys can see you can see through it this is the new one that comes with the kit which now has the check valve built into it so in this kit they ask you to remove all this stuff you basically throw it away it's done so the way this thing works is it pumps oil up through there and it's got this whole all these galleries are full of oil Mm -hmm. So whenever you flip the switch in the cab, it turns off that solenoid. Whenever it turns off that solenoid, it basically closes that port going back. So that oil that's in there is trapped now, right? Mm -hmm. So whenever that oil is trapped and the exhaust rocker comes up, it shoves this plunger up into that housing. It pushes on that oil. That oil has to go somewhere. So it pushes that plunger down. When it pushes that plunger down, it pops the exhaust valve open. So they call it an engine brake because it pops the exhaust valve, which is the pop you hear, but it's actually a compression brake because it's using the compression of the engine to yeah. uh, basically cause resistance. And that's why this, that's why an engine brake does not work on a gas engine is because they don't have near the compression a diesel engine does. It's also why it don't work on, it's also why it don't work on smaller diesels because they don't have the volume of air for the restriction, so. So my big rig service truck out there well, that, that would have what they, that would be like a true exhaust brake where they just put a flapper in the exhaust <laughs> pipe and shut you down. <laughs> this is an engine brake. So, all right. So hopefully that all makes sense. So the problem, the problem with these housings is the way the check valve works, the way the oil flow works, these engines cannot keep these housings full of oil. So now if you've got an air pocket in there, whenever that plunger goes up, instead of pushing on a solid liquid, it's pushing on an air bubble. So then it starts working intermittently and it starts not working at low RPM. So the whole purpose of all this is to give additional oil flow to these Jake housings to keep them full. Do I still got you? I'm there, I'm there. All right, so You're how do we- air is weak. Air is compressible, fluid is not. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we're going. All right, so this one's turned upside down. This right here, this is where the oil comes up. You guys can see this slanted line right here this is the main oil flow it comes into the solenoid which would be right here and then it comes out to all the galleries this is the other side of it this is the other side of the slant that's the solenoid going out to all the galleries this plunger gets hit oil flows across shoves that plunger down so we need to tap in to this main oil gallery right here we're going to add another line this has got a check valve made into it mm -hmm. and then basically we're going to steal oil off the turbo feed line and supply external oil to this to help keep it full of oil so it'll work in all scenarios. Yeah. All right, so this is where we got to come machinist. You want to turn that over for me, pretty please? They uh, got this fancy jig, which is what's supposed to be right here. Uh, first off, if you guys are doing this, don't follow what I say. Go online, look up this service bulletin. Uh, it's got all the part numbers, all the stuff you need into it. So they got this fancy jig. This is the oil line we're trying to hit right here, 2564s. Uh, this is that bottom plug right there. So basically, we need to drill a hole right there. Right there. Right there. And we're going to tap it, countersink it, thread it. Actually, we're going to drill it, thread it, counterbore it. And hopefully our fitting fits in there. All right. Uh, there is a plug down here on the end we pulled out. Uh, that way whenever we get it all drilled, we should be able to blow out, pour it out and everything, get all our shavings back out of there. All right, you ready to try this? Yep, let's punch it and go. Punch it and go, all right, here we go. <sighs> you ready? I'm ready. Can you weld this if we can drill the hole in the wrong spot? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I've, never, I've never welded on this. I don't really know what material it is. Let's hope we don't I'd have, rather not have to. Let's, let's hope we don't find out. 
All right, uh, here we go. Okay. Well, right behind the scenes, that went really well. We nailed that oil port, depth, everything's. I mean, yeah, I like it. The only problem yeah. is we're not threaded quite deep enough, and I need to modify the end of my tap to get a little bit deeper. So I say before we go modify my tap, let's get this one called yeah. up to speed. What do you think? Oh yeah, definitely. All right, so we're gonna drill. We'll drill that one and get it as far as this one and then we'll uh we went ahead and got all the check balls and the springs had to go searching for that thing again found it though yeah all right there we go round two all right So we have drilled, we have tapped. Please, just yep, tell us. that hole, got that hole, so. Please, please, please go in. Oh, look at that. I mean, that's a result right there. I like it. This one here might be slightly crooked. It don't go down quite as good. We might have to work on that one a little bit. Yeah. But it ain't horrible. It ain't horrible. I like it. I think we can work with that. All right, last thing we need to do is counterbore that. So we got a spot for that O ring to set. Mm -hmm. I really wish we took the time to set this up in the mill, but we didn't. So, uh, not my fault, your fault. <laughs> We're a little too far committed now. Yeah. All right, let's see uh, See how this goes. We don't need much. We just need something for that O-ring to seat in. Okay. There we go. Somebody took our vacuum cleaner. Yeah, yeah, they did. It's... She stole it. We stole it back. She stole it again. She's still out there. We'd steal it back. Yeah, wait until she goes in to get the... All right, you ready? Okay. Uh, you, you're off straight. Make sure you're straight. You like it? Yeah, I guess. That's probably good enough. Yeah. Don't get too carried away. If it ain't that big of a. You ready? Yeah. Nah. I mean, this ain't high, high, high pressure stuff we're dealing with here. All right. Second we glass is on, please. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I tell you what. No, I didn't mean on top of your hat. I meant on uh, your face. we should be machinist. <laughs> <laughs> you get something in your eye, I will laugh. I uh, oh, it, look. It got close. It hit you over here. I seen you. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. Safety guy that I am, I'll have to write you up. No. Hey, I'm, I'm not out here to get your job. I'm, I'm out here to protect you, okay? I'm out here to protect you. you to if I gotta give you three days off, it's because I gotta protect you, not because I wanna take your money from you. I feel like you've been recited that saying. You know? <laughs> Quite a few. I've also got the year BAM one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Oh, that's a nifty idea here. I like that. It's an OIT right there, isn't it? Is that OIT? <laughs> Old Indian trick? Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to polish her up a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Um, sir, where are your gloves at? Right where I left them. In the package yet, huh? Yeah. From area diesel. Yeah. Well, I broke mine in good. Oh, look at it shine. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I like you know, that. the Indian trick worked pretty good. Yeah. Looks like the Indians had drills or sandpaper. They just had no. rock. But... I like it. Man, I know I can't see it the way I can, but that's shining pretty good. I like that. Can you give me credit for that one? Yeah. And we'll do the YouTube magic on the second one. <laughs> All right, man, behind the scenes, machine work is complete. It is complete. I'm pretty happy with it for our crude elementary way of doing it. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Worked out pretty good. Worked so good. I'm still not convinced we got all the hoses and pieces and parts we need. We had two new hoses made in town. I think for sure it'll work for one. Yeah. It might be the struggle bus on the other one. I don't know. You'd think they'd be the same, but the way these solenoids bolt in here, this one's got the electrical tab on the wrong side. But before we get there, we need to get these things in the truck, bolted down, and yeah, uh, valves adjusted. So, yep. all right, you want to do the back one first? Yeah. Uh-oh. I think that's the back one, isn't it? Okay. Yep, that's the front one. Somebody drilled the F. <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> all right. It's got an R on it. Had a B for back. Should have been R for rear. All right. All right. We got to remember uh, before we put that on, we got to put the uh, rocker on. Show you guys before I put these rockers on, but there is a hole drilled right there. Kind of goes down at an angle this way. And that is where these Jakes originally got their oil at. That oil will still feed oil to the rocker shaft around here, but it will no longer feed oil to the Jake housing. So, all right, you ready for the first one? All right, I'm gonna need that new check ball and uh, something to tighten it down with next turn. All right. All right, so this right here is where that oil line comes on up, where that oil gallery comes on up and through. It also feeds oil to all these rockers, but now we got a check valve here. Used to oil can go up. Now it cannot go up, it can only go down. So basically we're not, we're blocking off that feed port right there. And in rare circumstances, there gets more pressure built up here, it can't escape going down. So hopefully that makes sense. All right, you ready for the back Jake helmet? Yep. I think they go this way, don't it? All right, and yep, that's right. All right, we're ready for some bolts. Maybe six of them. That's the back one, guys. We're going to do the same thing on the front one, and then we'll get to adjust the valves. Fun, fun. All right. Got the Jake housings all on. Torque these babies down. He's got a 45 foot pounds. Yeah, it turns pretty easy. Yeah, I think we've done this before and it don't turn so easy. 
Yeah. Well, Gunner did it last time, so. Uh oh. <laughs> Gunner did it last time. I can't do it. We got problems. <laughs> That's kind of what I was thinking. You for sure got it in on me? I'm for sure. If you weren't here. What kind of box am I looking for? The red dots. There's a blue line with red dots. There'll be a blue line in the middle and then red dots on the other side. All right, I'm not going to bore you guys with all the valve adjustment, but basically we need to make sure the lash is right in it. It's really hard to video there. I'll try to get this feeler gauge in here so you guys can see right down there. Basically the exhaust is going to be anywhere between 20 and 22 thousandths and the intake is 16 to 18. And then we also have to adjust this uh, jake brake one right there. I got, uh, we did this all on camera on the head replacement on this truck. So if you guys are interested in that, Jump back to that video and check it out. Aaron's underneath with the timing marks. He's gonna go around and uh, rotate the engine around far. So I'm gonna go through, check all the adjustment, and then we'll be ready to get our covers back on and uh, see if we can get this thing plumbed up. See if we gotta work faster. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm glad to see you're back awake. Yeah. Nice and comfy down there. Job. Somebody had to do it though. <laughs> yeah. All right. All the valves are ran. Had a few we had to adjust a little bit, but they were all still pretty close from last time. So next thing we need to do is get these jack housing extensions on and figure out if we can get this thing plumbed up. I still ain't convinced we got what we need to get it plumbed up, but yeah, well, we'll wait to find out, right? Yep. Let's do the back one first. All what right. do you say? Let me get my light and climb up there. Housing number one. Slide right down in there, like so. Well, it went on there all right. Now, we have got to get from that fitting to here. How easy that's going to be to do. All right, man, behind the scenes, I've been thinking. So these are the hoses they sent with us, which are quite a bit smaller braided hoses, but they are obviously way too short to reach right mm -hmm. these are the hoses we had made which would probably work but they're a little bit thicker and i'm concerned about grounding out right here so we need to get by so i think if i picked up another elbow we could just kind of loop that around back into itself that would yeah. work pretty well wouldn't it yeah uh work. and then basically whatever works on one will work on the other so what if we pump the brakes on this for just a second since i got to make a run tomorrow anyways for parts and we start plumbing up the external part, make sure we don't need any additional pieces or parts mm -hmm. fitting. So this is the turbo feed line that we're gonna basically rob oil out of. It goes top of the oil filter housing down there. I don't know, can you see where it goes? Can you get a wrench in it on there? You can get a wrench uh, right here, yeah. So we gotta get a T down in there somewhere. There you go. Right here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. You bad enough oh. to get that off there? Now don't you round that off down there. No, 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 we don't want that. It'd be a bad day to shop. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Uh, let me turn it loose over here and we'll uh, just spin that whole line up out of there. Oh, I gotta get a wrench to hold the bottom. Let's the whole thing started. I think that's what I'm here too. Well, that's fine as we get the whole hose up out there and pull the fitting yeah. out. Okay. <clears throat> All right, here's the line that comes out of the oil filter housing feeds the turbo so in theory <clears throat> i believe does that screw into there no that does not screw into turn there turn it around turn it around no that's the other end going this way all right hold on you want to uh, show my masterpiece and tell them about our discussion yeah so this i agree is going to work great we're going to be able to get it down in there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we're going to be able to turn it mm -hmm, get mm -hmm, it tight mm -hmm. It's going to be turnt like this. Turnt? Is that a new word? Turnt. That's a new word. <laughs> is that, you know, is turnt, uh, is that cousins with burnt? It is. <laughs> yeah. First or second cousins. <laughs> so once you get this in and it's good and tight, I have no issues there. This is what I think you're going to have fun tightening. It's going to be a booger, but see, I'm the optimist here. I'm the glass half full guy and you're the 
you're the the pe pessimist. Is that yeah. the right word? Glass yeah, half yeah, empty guy. All right, I tell you what. Why don't you take the camera over on the gravy train side? Okay, I'm gonna I'll go take to the this on the on the real work side. And we'll show you how it's done. <laughs> All right. Look down in there. Oh yeah. You get tied in there on you. Yeah, I mean. Oh, oh. Uh, hell yeah. I got caught you a little too early. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you did. I was going to say, let's get it started first, then you can start whipping that hose around. But this was the whole thing I thought would work. And now This part of the operation is your idea. Well, yeah, but it'll work if you get it started right. Yeah. Started. yeah. And then it's going to get tight, and then you're going to have to have a wrench to tighten it. Did you bring one of those for me? No. <laughs> Oh, you had all the wrenches. You took all well, the wrenches. Have all the wrenches. What, do with them? what size do you need? I think it's 18. It's over there. Okay, I got it's three all quarter. Those, uh, millimeter guys. All right. Let's see, it's working great. Everything's good so far. Right, one more round. You ready? Yep. Can make it. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Now, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll tighten this hose up. Well, hey, tight, yeah, well, I mean, that's one less joint down there that you got to tighten up. We'll fill so more now days. we'll do a... This is the easy one. Yeah, this is the easy one. I can't wait. Can't wait? You just stay right there. I'll show you how she's done. All right. Hmm. hmm. Yes, this is what I like. Where are you going? I'm trying to get my hand I'll, in I'll try and get your hand in there. Yeah. Ooh, this is gonna get aggravating. This is gonna get real aggravating. Oop, up, dropped it. You dropped it. There you go. And I just want to add on to that aggravation. <laughs> Keep going. Don't stop. Don't. I'm don't. Not adjusting. Okay. My angle. Stay calm. I'm glad Stay you're calm. not out of battery. I love it. I love it. I changed the battery. I'm at 81. percent I don't want them to miss out either. Oh, that's way. Oh, yeah. That ain't gonna work. There you go. Oh. Uh oh, what happened? What okay. happened? Right, it's right here. Okay, you found it. You got lucky again. <laughs> Thank goodness, it's right <laughs> oh. 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 I I can see it. See if this was welded, you would never get it. It's a good thing you got me with threads. Oh well. <laughs> oh. 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 There oh, we go. Oh, what's going uh. on here? Man. A little skill with the fingers there? Oh, that's as far as you're gonna get it by finger? Huh? I got at least five and or six more threads. threads. You yeah. couldn't even get it started. <laughs> uh, no, something would have done got broke. Oh yeah, here we go. This is where it gets fun too, tightening these up. Oh, that ain't gonna work like that. You can only get it on two sides of that. No, you can't, it's four sided. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you for sure? Yeah. Two sides are the same, the other two ain't. You know what though? I got wrenches for this. Oh, now we're switching wrenches. <laughs> oh, you're cheating. That's cheating. Now get off that wall. Come over here and get your normal wrenches. All right, cheater. Yep. Well, now let's go back to that other ranch. Let's cheat a little bit. Cheat? It, hey, yeah. a subscriber gave us this. He knew one day we'd be in a situation just like this. That we would need it. And lucky here, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> one more time around. One more time around. It's not getting any easier, but we're still making progress. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. I love it. You got to turn your regular wrench the other way. 
Yeah, there you go. Now you can put your other wrench down in there. Yeah, you'll have to go back to your other wrench. This ain't aggravating at all, is it? No, I mean, no, uh -uh. it's aggravating parts holding the camera. Oh, this is the fun part on this. <laughs> if only they could really see down in there. There's just no way to... It's guaranteed to be leak free. Yeah, right. It's getting tight. Oh, yeah. Getting tight. I think your wrench was just wedged up against something down there. No, no. Man, I just... Oh, well, close. Oh, look at that. Oh, my. Oh, that's so exciting. Look, yeah, it ain't tight yet. Tight, huh? I seen how easy that went. Oh, no. You're breathing easy. hard over there. So you're finally admitting uh, it's easy, huh? No, I'm saying. I could probably go one more around just to prove a point, but I don't think it's necessary. Oh, let's do it. Come on. I'm going to get by halfway and you ain't going to be able to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> what you do in my life? Oh, I took that light away. You're so good you don't need that light. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> we're on the home stretch. Oh, oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. What's happening here? Yeah, that's not where I wanted it. Oh, oh hit that. Oh. Oh, 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 you gotta love it. No aggravation. No aggravation here. You got a good angle. This, this, this is the pool. best 10 minutes of my life. <laughs> oh no. What is going on down there? You're twisting everything. Oh, it's because I got it too tight. Mm. But you could go one more time. Okay, if you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's going to be necessary. Look, I, I got so much room, I got two wrenches in there. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> There it is. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. All right. No aggravation there. None. Hold on. We're still going. Got to put this on there. No, you missed the thread that one. Time to hold. Look at me. You know what? Nothing. Matt, I go right there. Voila. You can be so deaf and turn them <laughs> Can you see me? Can you see me right now? I have got my hands full. I've got a light and a camera. <laughs> are you getting aggravated? No. Are you getting aggravated? Okay. Are you, are, is this your goal on Friday is just to see how much you can aggravate me? <laughs> yeah, you're getting red. I love it. A few I'm more gray hair. A few more gray hairs. I love it. You know what? You know, have a smart system. You have a smart system, huh? Yeah. You see, that'll stay put. Yep. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Now we're talking. And you said it couldn't be done. Oh, I didn't get any of that. It ain't even recording. <laughs> you want to redo it? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I got it. <laughs> Not very good. You can just tell them about it. <laughs> Your own words. All right. So you got that all hooked up. Everything's tight. Yeah, so we got to make a hose. That'll go from front to back now. Yeah, so from here to so back. There. Yeah. yeah. That should be the easy part now. Yeah, that's a straight shot. We're on home stretch here. All right, so we got this, is our main feed line coming up into our T. We got our second line on that uh, gives all to that back. Housing went ahead and got the turbo line back on. And I think that's about as far as we can go until we get our additional fittings for up there on the head. So 
Getting kind of late in the evening. I was hoping to have this done, but we're running out of time and running out of parts. So uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll round up a few more things and we'll see if we can make this happen. All right, guys, good morning. We are back in the shop and Aaron is not with us this morning, but we're gonna do what we can. So been doing some pondering and some thinking here over the last day or so. I am pretty happy with all the plumbing that's outside the valve covers, but I am not overly thrilled with the way this is coming together. Got a lot of really close clearance issues that I can't really see to keep an eye on. And uh, I don't know how, I think that hose will be fine over time running an engine oil, but I'm not for sure. But nothing really fits. Everything's just a little bit snug. And uh, I don't really have, get me off here without busting my butt, I don't really have a great answer for what we we're going to do. But I got about three or four different ideas, and we're going to try to combine them into one. So I think there's only about 60 pounds of pressure it runs through there. So I think I'm going to try to bend this steel line and make a rigid steel line in there, but then I got the wrong fittings on there. So I'm going to have to cut these flare fittings off here, put on there, throw an elbow in there for good measure. But I'm hoping we end up with something like this, which is, that is technically the factory line that goes in there. Um, but it's not available. So our only option is attempt to make it but i like that 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 seems like it'd be a pretty good pretty good method so this is gonna be hard to video it's gonna be a whole lot of up and down and back and forth and over and around so why don't you guys give me 15 20 minutes let me see what i can scrounge together here and i'll let you know if it works or it don't work i think it's about a 50 50 at this point all right let's see what i come up with all right voila here is my masterpiece i think it's gonna work this this bend here ended up being pretty tricky as I couldn't quite get it in my tubing bender, but I got to miss the rocker shaft, which is right over here. I'll show you guys. I've used my tubing bender and flaring tool more in the last two weeks than I think I've used in the last 20 years between the uh, brake lines on the loader and this little project. But let me kind of show you what we got. Hopefully I can do this one handed. So this end here will go down and attach to the inlet coming through the jack extension goes on there and tightens up nice. I don't know if you guys can tell right there how tight that is on that rocker. I was going to put an elbow in there like so, but it only misses that rocker by just a little bit. I got a good quarter inch of clearance now, which should be good. And then we come over here and this thing fits right on that elbow without forcing it, which, uh, should mean it shouldn't be in a bind. It shouldn't stress crack. It shouldn't do anything like that. It's got just a little bit of play in it. Man, I like that a lot. If you guys ask me, that is way, way better than trying to fish that great big old hydraulic line up through there that who knows what, when it's gonna break loose and rub on stuff. We've got a clearance issue here with this solenoid and this wire. I like that a lot, whole lot. This is a O-ring fit, so we can tighten that down whatever angle we need. But man, that looks, that I can get behind. I got clearance there. I like it. All right, only problem is that's one. Let's make, let's see if we can make a twin to it real quick. And then uh, I think we can get these valve covers back on and possibly fire this thing up and see what we got. Check out our injectors and our Jake operation, but. A little bit of mixing and matching, but that should do it. Like I said, this thing, I don't know what this thing, it may be cold, it runs 90 pounds of oil pressure. I think warmed up going down the road, it runs about 55 pounds. So we're not asking a lot of this steel line and it should do the trick. All right, one down, one to go. There it is guys, second one fits almost as good as the first one. Pull this nut back here if I can and I'll kind of show you. Fits just right on there almost, almost perfect. So I'm gonna make just a few final tweaks to that. 
I gotta put our actuator wires back on, which go from the valve cover inlet for the electric back up to our solenoids. And then uh, let's throw the valve covers on this. So let me get that tied up. <clears throat> we'll check it out one more time. Throw the valve covers on this thing. And uh, I think it's time to see if it starts. Make sure we got clearance on everything and uh, no major leaks. All right, guys, I've double checked and triple checked. Everything in here is tight and good to go. Got these fittings all tightened up. Got that tightened up. Everything's over here is tightened up. Kind of eyeball checked all the clearances. It's tight right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's tight, but I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna clear. We'll find out real sure when we fire it up. I thought about turning it over a few times and kind of seeing, but I really need the valve cover on there to kind of center everything up because it moves a little bit. So wires back on, everything hooked up. I think it's time to uh, close up shop. And we're just going to have to hit the old key and find out what happens. So, seems to go down on there without hitting on the top, which is good, which I think it should. I kind of measured that. We got about three quarters of an inch of clearance there. So, we got a little bit of, a little bit of room for air. All right, let's tighten her down. All right, guys, moment of truth. I've checked all the fluids, got all the wires resecured, make sure everything's hooked up, checked all the fittings, make sure they're tight. I think it's time to, uh, I think it's time to crank her and find out what happens. I'll set you guys up here so you can watch. If you see something uh, gushing oil or doing something that shouldn't, holler real loud. Here we go. So 
we'll go one position on the jakes. Uh, basically have one head work that closes one of those solenoids. So there's half of them. We'll go the rest of the way up. That should be all of them. Well guys, everything looks good. I don't hear anything that concerns me. I don't see anything that's leaking. It all uh, sounds good. It's definitely smoother. It's hard to really tell in the shop, but I'm pretty sure the jake brakes are working better. I can definitely tell they kick in a little faster. The uh, real test is gonna be taking it down the road and see what, uh, see what happens. So let me throw the air cleaner back on it. We'll do a little test drive and see what we got. We'll, we'll put it back on the same way we took it off, I think. There she is guys, she is all back together. Let's take this thing on a little test drive and see how this baby purrs. I guess bulldogs don't purr. See how she barks. concerned about oh come on I'm the hill there baby so I feel like we're pretty careful we'll get her head for a little bit and see what we got They never worked all the way down to cut out. That's definitely a plus. look over i believe she's good to go i think next time you guys see that truck hopefully it's going to be hooked to something new and shiny so a little bit of a teaser for what's to come but that's going to be a wrap on this one huge thanks to kurt and all the guys over at area diesel if you guys are looking at anything fuel turbocharger injection pumps injectors i mean the list goes on and on you're going to be hard pressed to find anybody with uh less knowledge or more stuff at their fingertips and just some awesome awesome service so give those guys a shout or a try over there tell them dirt perfect sent you over if uh if you're not in the market for any of that stuff just go over and su subscribe can't speak subscribe to the youtube channel and uh tell them thanks for supporting all those youtubers because we greatly appreciate it i'll try to link all their stuff down below but gonna get the shop cleaned up and uh and on the next project so hopefully you guys enjoyed this one if you did give it a big old thumbs up but make sure you don't miss out on what's coming up next. I'd consider subscribing. It's free. That way we can catch you on the next one. Later, guys.